this is what's up to an Nigeria fleet hacker and in today's video I'm going to show you how to record your your screen your computer screen using both Mac OS X and Windows for free I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac OS X first and then I'll show you how to do it on the win on Windows after showing you how to do it on Mac OS X so on Mac OS X it's pretty easy to do all you have to do is open QuickTime Player, which comes pre-installed on OS X. And then just once you have QuickTime Player open, just go to File, New Screen Recording. And then you'll get this screen here. What You want to click on this arrow and make sure that you have the right microphone to record your voice or sound with your screen from alongside your screen. So, but I, because I'm not going to record my voice for the example video that I'm making here, I'm just going to click none. But if you, but you should have an option here of your computer's built-in microphone, or if you're using a USB microphone, just plug that USB microphone into your USB slot, and it should come up here. But I'm going to choose none, in which case there will be no sound with the video. Then just click this button right here. And if you want to record the full screen, all you have to do is just click and then it'll start. Whereas if you want to record part of your screen, what you have to do is like drag your mouse over the, uh, p the um, part of the screen that you want to record. And then it'll sort of high gray out all the other areas. Then just click start recording. But I'm going to record the whole screen for this tutorial. So here we go. Once it's... Once you've started the recording, you want to wait until this little icon here turns solid black because that's when it started recording. So, once you've done, once it's recording, um, well, it's recording your video now. And I'll show you an example. So, let's just say I'll deminimize GarageBand down here. And I'll just move my mouse around and this will get captured on the example video. And now... I'll just stop the recording. You can record for as long as you like, as long as you want, basically. Though do keep in mind, the longer you record, the more memory the recorded video is going to take up. And here is the recorded video. I'll let you guys watch it just to show you. And there's our recorded video. So once you've once you've uh, d once you're done recording and you've watched it to make sure you don't want to re-record it, you just t save it. You just click this X, and it will ask you what you where you want to save it at. So I'll just save it as test. And then I'll just save it to the desktop. If it's a big video, it might take a while to save. But uh, um, there is our recorded video. So that's it for how to for how to record your screen on Mac OS X. I will now switch over to my. I will now switch back over to Windows and show you how to record your screen. On Windows so just give me a second I'll pause the video while I do that so now I'm going to show you how to record your screen for free on Windows I'll be showing you how to do this through a program called flashback screen recorder which can be downloaded from this website and will be in the description be description below it is a free program there is a paid version of it that can export in more file formats but this free program the free version can export to Flash and AVI files, which is all you should really need, to be honest with you. So, just go to this website and click this, this link that says Download Flashback Express. Then you'll have to put in your name. Then you'll have to put in what you're going to use Flashback for in your language. And you will have to give it a working email address because that is where they will send the license key to activate the software. And yes, I can assure you this is free. So once you've done that, 
and uh, once you've filled this form out you just have to go and click click on a download the download button which is uh, right on the bottom but I'm not going to download it because I already have it then just run the installer then just go to go to all apps on your computer when you want to record your screen then go down go to blueberry software and open flashback express recorder and it'll come up with this screen the first time you open it, it'll ask you for the license that they emailed to you. Then, when it opens, you'll get this option. You just want to click record your screen. Below that, it'll. then you can click full screen, select what, what type of screen recording you want to do, whether it be full screen, whether you just want to record one window, or record a section of your screen. Then go down to, to record, check record sound if you want to record sound then, and select what microphone you have you, when you, if you check record webcam what will happen is it'll, it'll record from your webcam too and basically put your web, the recording from your webcam in as a, as a box in your video then just click start recording when you're ready and it'll go through this countdown and then when you see this and that timer starts going you are now recording your screen with the preferences that you set I'm gonna make a make a sample video of just me opening and closing Google Chrome to show you guys then I'm gonna stop the recording you will want to click save and this will save it save it as a flashback recorder movie project then just name what you want to save the file as and select where you want to save it to. I'm just going to name it test. Then it'll come up with this list. Now there will be now you can click open if you want to edit it using their video editor. Share it if you just want to upload it directly to YouTube or Facebook or something. And then click open if you want to if you want to uh, edit the watch the video or possibly edit it using their uh, video editor if I s and that's really basically it for this tutorial it might take a minute to pop up in the video editor if you choose that option but if you click export that will export it as a file to your computer Then you, with the free version, you can only export to, export to either Flash or AVI, which should be all you really need to be honest with you because AVI is the standard video file format and basically any video editing or viewing software should be able to read AVI files. So once you've selected what file format you want to use, just click OK. And then you can try different codecs if you want, but I just normally use full frames uncompressed. Then here you'll see some options. If you want to try like changing the scale settings, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could try it if you want. If you only want to export part of your movie, then just up here select check selected frames and then select what frame you want to start at and what frame you want to end at but if you just want to export the whole movie the whole movie just click whole movie and then click export 
Now just name what you want to save the file mate what you want to save the file as and where you want to save it. Then just click save. And that and then once it's done exporting it, that video file will be saved as the file name and where you saved it to. And I'll play the recorded video just to show you guys. And there is the video I recorded earlier as an example. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190 Flea Hacker, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.